Welcome to Josh's Green Garage. So uh, I come to you today in the back of the trailer. Maybe I should rename the uh, page to Josh's Green Trailer. Um, this is all I got to work with now. Uh, but I did get a new toy sent to me. Uh, this came from a guy in Canada. Um, the company is Mennonite Farming Products, MFP. Um, so he sent me this to kind of review and see how it's going, you know, make a little video for. So uh, we're gonna open this up, see what's inside. I'll put it together if there's any assembly needed. Uh, and then I gotta get my quick hitch put back together because I had it disassembled a little bit for uh, my move. Um, but then I'll get that thrown on the tractor and I'll go uh, do some stuff with this. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so I don't think I quite mentioned what exactly this was first. Uh, this is a grapple. We'll uh, cut her open and see what we got. Surprisingly, coming all the way from Canada, I thought this box, I mean, it weighs quite a bit. It's like 60 something pounds. Yeah, 60 pounds on the shipping weight here. I would have thought the box would have been destroyed, but it's not. First impression, this thing looks really nice. And get it out of here for you. Heck yeah. Seems pretty, pretty solid. I had a pin come out from somewhere. It was just in the box. About to figure out where that is or where it goes. Oh, it looks like it's to this. The I'm guessing this is probably. Let me get it better on camera. Probably has to do with hooking the uh, the lift cylinder because you you need to relocate the lift cylinders from uh, uh, the quick hitch for the angling. You take that one off, relocate it onto this. And then that's what gives you your your grapple. As such. So uh yeah, just an initial kind of like little quality review, kind of like doing. Uh seems nice. We got grade eight pins here, so nice and heavy duty there. Uh looks like probably quarter inch steel everywhere else. Um on the inside, got nice serrations here so you're gonna have plenty plenty of uh, gripping power the thing seems solid nice paint on it the welds all look really good this uh tooth here is bent but i'm gonna chalk that up to shipping looks like a really nice piece of equipment so yeah i'll just have to uh there's no instructions there. I'm sure this thing's probably pretty straightforward, um, but I'll have to figure out kind of how this is going to go together. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens. I'm going to get the quick hitch together, um, or get that other angle cylinder off, and uh, I'll figure out how this goes together, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so I started panicking for a minute, and. I Kind of put you guys up there at a weird angle just so you can kind of see everything that's going on but i started having a panic for a brief second because when you get these quick hitches they initially come set up to be used for a snow blower um <clears throat> so they don't have the angling kit on them then you buy the angling kit which gives you this second hydraulic cylinder and then you add that and that gives you your side to side for a plow blade or if you're using the broom um things like that but for a grapple, you need to have it without the angling. So now I have to reconvert this over to how it came uh, to be used so that I can use that angling cylinder for the grapple. So if you have one of these and you only have a snow blower, you don't have a plow blade or anything, but you want to get a grapple, you're going to then have to purchase the angling kit in order to do so. So keep that in mind. Now, in order for them to be locked out, there at one point was a pin 
there's one on it here this big one that you see here goes through this front here and then there's another pinhole in the back now a pin was supposed to go through there i don't know what i did with that pin honestly i'm not sure if it was a big bolt or if it was like a, a uh, just like a regular just straight pin with it has like a cotter pin on the bottom i don't remember how it was and unfortunately i look back at my own video to try to help myself out and it turns out that video conveniently uh something happened and i lost the footage to where i was reconfiguring this thing and installing that second you know lift cylinder so that kind of sucks um but luckily this kit I started looking at things and then this bracket because I was just going to go buy a longer bolt to do it but this bracket that came in the kit came with these two bolts and one of them conveniently goes into that hole so now I don't have to worry about that so if something happened you lost your original pin or whatever went there it's all good because this kit uh, there's a bracket that needs to bolt in there so you'll be good to go regardless so I'm going to just start out take this bolt off And then we'll set this into where it needs to go. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, we're going to get this angling cylinder out of the way. Now, to do that, there's a cotter pin down in there. If you've done this before, you know. Um, but essentially, we're just going to take our needle nose, grab that cotter pin. Actually, I probably haven't been around yet. Just going to bend that so it's back together and then it's kind of tight in here but there's room you can get that pin out so then you just slide the bigger pin that's in there up and out and then your cylinder's free so really simple to do um and then it's let's see i have all these lines connected together for use for the uh plow blade so we'll just take these off because we're probably gonna have to adjust this since we're gonna probably have some extra some extra hose here in the way make sure if your dust cover pops off you put that bad boy back on we want to keep those things clean all right so now we got our cylinder separated all right now the only thing i can't particularly remember is if the yellow or the silver would be up or down i guess it it doesn't particularly matter I'm going to say we probably want silver on the actuating side of this cylinder. I'm going to set it that way. Worst case, I'll just reverse the hoses um, or I'll just flip the cylinder afterward. I can't remember and I don't know, I'll figure it out here. Um, all right, so you can see though, well hopefully you can see there's another hole back here. So this bracket conveniently lines up right on those two holes. And then that's where our lift cylinder will attach, well, sorry, our side-to-side uh, -side actuating cylinder will mount to, and then it'll come up here and contact this as well. So, we'll throw our bolts through here. And then from underneath, screw on these bolts there now I can bring in the front part of the hitch actually you know what I screwed that up. This one can't go on there. So 
So tighten the rear one down, you'll put this in. I'm going to stick this big pin back on the front. And then we'll feed this guy through like so, and that'll lock this from turning. Now we can put this bolt on and tighten down. Nice and tight. Okay, so now that's not gonna angle at all on us. And we have our attachment here now. So, uh, it looks like it's gonna probably be a pain because, so this hitch is heavy if you guys don't have one. Um, just to let you know, if you're like looking into one of these tractors and are looking at getting these things, this hitch is pretty heavy by itself. Um, now that the two pieces are together, it's even heavier yet. That's 60 pounds, so, I'm going to put this on the tractor first, then we'll hook that on there, and then we'll come in afterward and add that lift cylinder. Just because, I mean, I, I guess I could put the cylinder on right now. However, I'm not exactly sure where it's going to link up to this. It's probably going to be a head, so this cylinder is probably going to be angled under here. I just don't want to screw it up. Um, so we'll just put it on there first. So I'm going to get the camera moved over to the front of the tractor, and uh, I'm just going to put this on there. Um, it's nothing crazy. Well, you know what? I'll show that because I don't think my quick hitch video had me installing this onto the tractor. Um, so I'll show you guys that. So we'll be right back. Okay. So pretty easy on the install here. Uh, the first thing, um, that you cannot do with this quick hitch is have the mower deck on, uh, the front weight bracket the nine weight bracket, or unfortunately the hood guard, brush guard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you cannot have any of those front attachments if you're going to have this on. Um, keep in mind, if you saw my other videos and you saw the weight bracket that I did have with this on, that's custom made. That's not something that, uh, you know, you can get from deer. So I built that one myself. Um, that one's designed to work with this. But installation of this, extremely easy. The first thing we're going to do is just pull these pins on either side of it back and lock them. And we're just gonna lift it on. And this bar is gonna rest in these top notches here. Like so. Then you just turn your pins and that locks it in. Like so. So it's on there, good to go. And I mean, that's really it. At this point, if we wanted, we can take this and set it on there. Um, you got pins on the sides here, lock them back. Trying to figure out a good way to grab this. And then this will just set inside like that. And then you'll have to hold it up a little bit, but you can turn your pins again, and that'll lock the grapple onto there. So you're good to go. That's how easy it is to put this on. All the quick hitch attachments are essentially the same. Um, it's an easy install like that. So then we'll just hook up our, uh, our hoses here. So I'm gonna feed these through the little hanger. And actually, I can't remember. I think these ones have to go outside of it because of uh, the extensions I have here since I have the rear outlet kit. So I'll uh, I'll get all these in here first and then I'll hook them all up, I guess. I'm gonna hook this hose up. So I'm gonna put the actuating side out at the end. So we'll take this pin out. I'm going to 
turn it this direction. That way our hoses are kind of out of the way. Sorry, we'll go in this way. Put our pin back in, so that's on. And I'm probably going to have to actually turn the tractor on and actuate that to get it into the position that it needs to be. So I'm going to do that real quick. Probably help if I hook up the hydraulics. All right, made a nice mess there. I'm gonna go clean off my hands. Okay, so I washed my hands then off camera. I put my little Velcro straps around here. I like tying these together to keep that away from the hood. That way it's not rubbing on the hood, scratching the hood up or anything. Um, and then it also keeps things like this tied out. So the green and the black, I usually have to tie them up because they can't run through here just because of how far out they have to bend then to go on with this uh, auxiliary hydraulics rear hydraulic kit. So they need to hang down outside of that. So the Velcro just kind of holds it up out of the way. That way the tire can turn completely and not be rubbing on any of this. So um, yeah, little Velcro straps there help out a lot, keep everything together and looking nice. So during the time that I was messing around with the hydraulics, letting pressure out, this did lower and uh, I can now get in here and uh, put my pin in. I'm gonna go in from this side with the pin just because that would be harder to get the, uh, the little spring clip in there and I do need to lower this just a hair more to let me I, know, I might just have to lift this up and push it in of course it's going to be a pain getting into the other side there I think I just had to turn the cylinder a hair more. That's all right, I can still get in there and get this pin in. All right, and that's our installation. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, hoses are kind of hanging out there at a weird angle, but they kind of have to be, otherwise these would be up running into this bar, so kind of how it's gotta go. So uh, now I'll, well first I'll uh, turn that shut off valve or diverter valve, I'll open that up to allow some better flow up there. Alright, now we'll uh, give her a try.
All right, so you can see it uh, obviously works, um, so that's good. Um, I had where when you push the upper handle forward, that's what was opening it. Um, I mean, I, I guess that would seem to make sense. Pull it back towards you, close. Um, that would work. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't really have too many logs or anything laying around right now. Okay, so you see some remnants in here of a uh, heavily rotted log. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick video of it uh, pulling up that log a little bit. At the end of the video, I talk about how I'm gonna have a part two with use. Um, I might push that out a little bit. I do have some trees back here that I'm wanting to cut down and that'll give me some legitimate logs, but I don't know when that's gonna be. That's gonna be a bit later, uh, but this will at least show you uh, it working, you know, picking up a rotted log. Um, there again, it's not the greatest. It's not a lot of use, but just a little something to hold your appetite for now. So as you can see, I had absolutely zero problem picking up, you know, at least 80 something pounds. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's a pretty neat attachment. Uh, you, you know, if, if you have a lot of land you're clearing or if you're somewhere where you're cutting down trees, you know, chopping wood. I mean, I came from Alaska. I know, you know, a lot of people in Alaska heat their homes with wood. I mean, you know, a lot of people anywhere in the, the northern part of the states you know, use a lot of wood to heat homes and things like that. So if you're chopping wood, you know, moving bigger logs around, I, I, I can't imagine this wouldn't have any issue whatsoever picking up a pretty sizable log um, to be moving around. So, I mean, to use one of these X700s for logging, um, you know, that, that's pretty neat ability. I mean, not only just picking up a log sideways, which you would probably normally do, I mean, you'd be able to dig that into the ground or close to it, get under the log and then clamp it from the front. And then you could just, you know, drive backwards and, you know, pull a pretty good sized log out. I mean, these things have plenty of pulling power, so you could do a lot. So, uh, yeah, we'll call this uh, a part one. I'll do a part two, essentially. Um, that'll be more so use of it. Um, I do have one down log over there 
but currently I have my box blade in the way and I don't really have the time right now to, to move that and you know do any more with this right now um, but soon here I will uh, hopefully have some some more logs and bigger things to try uh, lifting that that logs pretty rotted so it would probably end up just falling apart um, but yeah uh, I want to thank MFP for uh, sending this to me um, it, you know it's a fantastic product quality you know seems just on par with with John Deere quality like I said like the welds look great everything's heavy on it um, the teeth are really nicely serrated on there so you're gonna have plenty of you know grip power with that um, ease of ease of assembly and everything super easy really easy all you got to do is put that bracket on there and then just hook this thing on relocate your cylinder like that was incredibly easy <laughs> I was worried for some reason that I'd need an instructions, but no instructions needed. Um, you know, it went on really well. So yeah, um, again, MFP, uh, out of Ontario, I think it was Canada. Um, big thanks. And I mean, if you guys are looking for one of these, especially if you're in Canada, um, you know, it's going to be easy for you to get one of these as opposed to maybe that, uh, that innovative tractor attachments one. Um, if you're in the States, you know, considering uh, looking these up, of course, I'll put contact information and everything in the description and probably on the video as well. Uh, but, you know, look them up. You know, it, you might find something you like about this one that would be competitive, uh, maybe even price. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really looked into the ITA ones. But, uh, you know, this is another option for you. Another, like I said, an option for, you know, my friends up there in Canada because... Lord knows my travels from Alaska, the, uh, the Canadians have really helped me quite a bit. So I'm, I'm more than happy to, you know, promote things for them. So, uh, yeah, look them up. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. If you have any questions about this specific grapple, let me know. Uh, and then of course, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have another video coming out at some point cause I know this one's getting pretty long. We'll have another video, uh, showing this doing a little bit of work. So thanks for watching. Other than that, have a good one.